Hi and good morning. I thought we would do a garden update. Nice little garden tour this morning. I don't know about you all, but we have been getting a ton of rain. And some of my plants have not been doing too great in all this rain. I've had some rot on my cucumbers and my tomatoes. The good, good thing I overplanted when it came to my tomatoes. Kind of give you an overview and then we'll go through. I think we'll go this way today. It's my girls barking at me. <laughs> flowers are doing lovely. Peas, not so good. We might get a few out of them. We have a few blossoms on there. It's a little late in the season for peas here because we've been hot and humid and that's not the condition for peas. But my watermelon is doing fantastic. I have flowers already. Butternut squash is already starting to come on. I have lots of babies. We also have some yellow squash coming on. All of my squash plants have been doing great. Cross fingers, we don't have any squash bugs. Corn is looking fantastic. The girls are doing fantastic. We're starting to get blooms coming on, all of our zinnias and marigolds. And I have to show you this because these are cute. I have little peppers coming on. I don't know how great they will be last year all of my peppers were stunted, I think, because it got too cold. At one point, they were only half the size. But all of my tomatoes are coming on. We should have a good harvest if they come to full size. We have some black-eyed Susans getting ready to come on. The herbs all look fantastic. That's all gone to seed. Got some mini jalapenos coming on. We've been getting quite the harvest of beans. I've replanted some beans. We've got new babies coming up. Four beans on our second round. I have to get out here today and pick some. Kale is finally coming back to life and looking healthy again. I think I've got all the pests under control. Now I did have a lot of vegetables, well, my cucumbers. This is what happened to my cucumbers. I pulled them because they all rotted. We've got lots of beans coming on. Container gardens aren't hard to grow. Actually, they're quite enjoyable. I've done it the last few years. 
it's just you have smaller fruit coming from it usually because you can't grow in the ground so they don't get as big but I've had some years where some of the fruit has come on and it's been wonderful I planted a lot more flowers this year so hopefully all of those come up I have a whole row of sunflowers in the, my backyard and I've planted sunflowers all along the fence line here. I can't guarantee that they're going to make anything. They're about six inches high at this point. All right, guys, that will wrap it up for today. If you have any questions, I've been doing container gardens for a few years now. I've always done in ground, but since I'm renting here, uh, this is what I'm allowed to do at this point in time in my life. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. And thanks for stopping by today. Mm -hmm.